Hello there. Welcome to this video performing REST calls and this time it's going to be a put call. In this video we're going to first create a put call in Postman. We're going to update a value of the is light property on the ThingWorks IoT platform and of course we're going to confirm the property value. Now let's take a look at an actual put call and before that this put call is very similar to updating a value of a specific cell using a SQL query. For example, you could say update IoT device 1 which is the table name which you can equate to the name of the thing set the name of the property is light and in a SQL query this would be a column equal to a specific value. Now in a table a column has multiple values but in this case the property has only one value. It can hold only one value so hence we are not narrowing it down to a specific cell because there's only one cell. If you want to equate this to a put statement, so first of all you need to use the word put, then you're going to build your URL and then this is HTTP slash 1.1, you're going to give your host name, app key, content type, cache control and then this is the actual message and this is the JSON format, so open curly brackets, close curly brackets and within that you're going to identify the name of the property which is going to be is light and then colon the actual value which you want to update in the IoT platform. Let's take a look at how this looks like from the Postman side. Alright, so I have my Postman up for me and I already built the put request and I'm going to walk you through step by step. Alright, the first thing is you want to select the put web, so go ahead and do that and then you're going to retain the same URL like the last time which we used to send a GET request. Now I'm going to go through it one more time. So first thing is your IP address of the ThingWorks ID platform, then forward slash ThingWorks and forward slash things which is going to be a constant, then the forward slash actual name of the thing which you created on your ID platform and then forward slash properties which is going to be a constant and then forward slash the actual name of your property which is is light. Perfect. Now in the headers you're going to have two headers. One is the app key and which is going to be the same app key which you used the last time and then you're going to have a content type which is going to be application JSON. Now what's different from last time is that you're going to have a body message. You're going to have a message which you need to send to the IoT server and this is going to be in the JSON format it's going to be open close brackets and then the name of the property which is is light and this has to match this so the last time the name of the property was is motion and this time the name of the property is light so we're working with two different properties in two different requests so of course you have to change this as well and then of course you need to punch in the value which you want to send across to the IoT platform. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and change this value to 111. Alright, now before we actually do that, I'm going to take you to the IoT platform and let's go and check the value of the is light. So currently the value of the is light is 0. Alright, now let's go back to Postman and now I'm going to send this request. So if you're comfortable with everything, let's go ahead and hit send. So there you go, I hit send. And in just a second, you will see that it's completed. So we are looking for the status 200. So when you have a successful message sent, it doesn't really tell you much. When something goes wrong, you have something coming back at you. So if you don't see anything, that's a good thing. All right, now let's go ahead and check on the ID platform if everything looks good. So go ahead and refresh these values. And there you go. It's 111. Now let's go ahead and try one more time and we'll go back to Postman and change this value to something else. So let's say 254 and I'm going to hit send. Now you see that again it's going to come back with 200 OK and this time it took a bit longer than 84 milliseconds. And let's go back to the ID platform and I'm going to hit it refresh and there you go it's 254. So voila it's, it's working, it's great. And now you actually know how to send values to an IoT platform using a put request. This is tremendous and this is groundbreaking information. As far as IoT device is concerned, 
the main thing which we're going to be doing is sending and receiving values and this is the primary fundamental activity which you do so if you know how to do this and build this request this is going to help you a lot in building an IoT device and an IoT solution. Way to go. In the next video, we're going to use a Wi-Fi board, which is the Node MCU with sensors. And we're going to send these values to the ThingWorks IoT platform. So essentially, you're going to put everything you learned into an IoT prototype device. Perfect. Exciting.